Jewelry store in Oakland is working to get back on their feet after a violent robbery. Video from last Wednesday shows several masked men armed with guns smashing the glass cases and ransacking Fung jewelry. The robbers were eventually scared off when the owner's husband came out with his own gun. The owner's son says about 80 to 90 percent of the store's inventory was stolen. This robbery, you know, this past Wednesday was probably one of the most brazen. Never before we've had eight individuals rush to the business and get away cars. But we've worked really hard for everything we've got. Uh, but we're going through some time, rough times, and we're able. And, and, and when we get back on our own two feet, we're going to give it back. We're going to give it back to the community. Fong Jewelry has been on Oakland's Chinatown since the 1980s. The family is grateful for the outpouring of support they've gotten from the community. A GoFundMe has so far raised more than $30,000 to keep the business open. San Jose business owners are speaking out over what they say is an increase in break-ins, with thieves sometimes making out with thousands of dollars. The latest victim of burglaries was in San Jose's Sofa District, where a gamer bar was hit by thieves not once, but eight times. Cron 4's Jack Molman reports from San Jose. So walking down First Street here in downtown San Jose, you'll pass by the Guild House. It's a really busy Saturday here for the Gamer Bar, and you wouldn't know it if you weren't there to see it. But just a couple of days ago, it was the site of a burglary with thieves taking more than $20,000 worth of cash and merchandise. It's a packed evening in South Downtown San Jose, a K-pop event bringing good business to the owner, Kevin Wynn. And we're going on our third year in July. He's no stranger to working in downtown and unfortunately no stranger to this. A pair of thieves making off with files, credit cards and merchandise. Wick says though, this isn't the first time. In the beginning when we broke it into, we didn't want to be uh, seen as vulnerable or uh, potentially make more people aware that we're here and that we're, we could be a target. Um, but that clearly wasn't working. Over the last couple years, Guildhouse has been burglarized eight times. Only twice, the owner says, have the thieves been caught. I've gotten a little bit numb to it. And it's not only Guildhouse. Kevin Wick says business owners around downtown have complained of break-ins, just like Ohm off Santa Clara Street. Two of them were um, the same person, it seems. The manager, working at the time, did not want to be shown on camera, but says his restaurant has been broken into multiple times. He says it's demoralizing seeing this around downtown. It also um, impacts the business, you know? People uh, will look at the damage more than they will look at the things you offer. And business owners like Wick say they've met with SJPD and the mayor's office over what the next steps are. We reached out to the police department Saturday, but did not hear back. As for now, the windows are tinted up, and Wick's bar is getting rid of cash altogether. Nothing else seems to be working. And Wick says at the end of the day, he just wants a place for people to come together. Of course, that's why I do it. I am uh, I built a place that I would want to hang out at myself. So the hope is with all the information that they gave the police department, the hope is the owners of Guildhouse say is that the person who did break in to their bar will be caught making the streets of San Jose a little bit safer. In San Jose, Jack Molman, Cron 4 News.